Hello, today I'll be talking about agronomy. And agronomy is a really, really important topic we should all know something about. People may might not realize how important it truly is, but it is the source of food for everyone. And without agriculture, we would be basically doomed and populations wouldn't have expanded as they have done in the past 100 years. It's due to the production of food that humans have seen favorable their reproduction to the point of increasing population exponentially as it has been for the last maybe 100 years. And that's due to the agriculture and the production gives to humanity. Uh, agriculture affects many aspects of, uh, of the world and even countries by itself. For example, here in Honduras, let's say we produce beans, and we actually do produce beans. But if we have a drought, like we did have last year, a drought that basically we lose all our bean crops, we'll be in the need to buy beans from other countries that we import beans from other countries instead of exporting beans, which would be the common giving the economy a rice. Instead, we're using more money to bring those products to a country. So aspects like that is people should realize they are important since it affects, like agriculture just doesn't affect the individual farmers if they don't do well or not. It affects the economy as a whole. So it's really important for people to see this. Uh, another factor that's interesting is that agriculture produces a lot of jobs. In Central America, most of the jobs, I think, is the agricultural sector. We have small farmers to big farmers to huge, really, really big farms in which people produce their foods and goods for the people to consume. Uh, here, for example, we have lots of small farmers that produce in a small margin they are capable of living here and having a family because of the agriculture. They are able to sustain their family through agricultural sector. For example, we have, let's say Juan, in a small town, and he doesn't have a job, but he does have land. He's capable of using that land to produce corn or any other cash crop they could sell. and get a good living out of it and that's how most of the people actually do in Central America. This is one of the countries that most produce, not countries, most areas that produce food for the world. So it's important to mention that how important the agriculture is for the world and for its economy. And it's actually, it's important to the point that it actually is really correlated to how populations increased in the last 100 years. To point out how it's financially have been growing for the last years and how populations will keep on growing. It's important for people to know that agriculture will be always there to feed the people unless people stop eating, which is not likely. There will always be jobs. The only thing is that people need to get educated and know how to work with crops and climate accurately since we're in a time where it changes constantly due to the contamination that humans have been doing and we need to take care of the earth and working in the land to produce is basically the most honorable job you could get since you treat the plants and the soil to produce a good that will be consumed by hundreds of people. And that's why people should know more about agriculture, but most of the time people just think, oh, food, and they don't think all the effort that went into that food you can see, you can, you can, like, when you study it, you know, it starts from a seed and it grows to a plant and then produces. But people, when they see the plate of food, they just think, oh, food. They don't think, oh, all this food took so much time to produce, and that's why sometimes there's waste produced by that. And in some areas, you have lots of production of food, and in some areas, you don't have food and people are starving. But people should appreciate more what agriculture does. Thanks.